Hello, namaste. This is new to live talk and we have question of life once again with our uh, dearest Miss Vidisha Singh. She is the positive psychology coach and counselor and I am your host Shraddha Mishra. So Vidisha, a very warm welcome in new to live talk after so many weeks. Thank you so much Shraddha. And uh, I really missed being in your shows because of some personal reasons. So as it is said that a therapist also needs therapy. So probably there were certain circumstances going on because of which I was not able to be a part of your live talks. Right. So I can see the beautiful background behind you. And <laughs> since being in Germany, uh, everybody miss uh, India and Indian weather. Yes. You know? yes. But today yes. I was, uh, before starting the show, I was thinking about that we were missing uh, uh, Vidisha from last so many time and she's not coming in our show. So I will make a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so this is the topic of our show that is complaining is bad and uh, like what is the best way to complain you know, effectively. So let's talk about it. Uh, see, first and foremost, Shraddha, I'd like to explain uh, to all our viewers that what is complain. Whenever we complain, it is in relationship to any particular issue any particular grievance which we want to solve. Mm -hmm. But generally complaint is taken as a negative uh, format or probably it is mm -hmm. seen as a bad habit also sometimes. Yes. That, that person complains a lot. He should stop complaining. So mm -hmm. there is a very fine line wherein it is very important to understand that a complaint can either hurt or help. Hmm. So when you are complaining, you want to hurt someone. You mm -hmm. just want to put that blame game uh, on uh, onto someone else's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Or there are like, you know, uh, certain needs which are not being met. And you want the other people, you know, other person, be it in your office, be it in your house, be it in your friend circle, to understand that what you are going through. Hmm. So I think there, there needs some understanding about complain or complaining that your intention should be clear why you are complaining. See, whenever you are complaining, there is a need involved with it. Okay, mm -hmm. there must have an incident that has happened, which has hurt you, which has incurred some loss mm -hmm. in your life, uh, to your uh, you know personal uh, relationships. Mm -hmm. Whenever we are taking that need in mind, mm -hmm. complain helps channel that need into action actionable results. Suppose you went to a shop. You bought something okay? and uh, that was not good enough. You have already paid the price. You have put in your hard work, you know. You went mm -hmm. to the shop, you bought that item and when you come back home, open that packet and you find that it is not as you expected it to be. It is broken. Mm -hmm. It is an old item that was being packed. So what do you do now? Definitely a person will complain. There is a need to complain because only that complaint will channel it into an actionable uh, result wherein the shopkeeper will understand that either the product needs to be replaced or your amount needs to be returned. Mm -hmm. Many it happens when it comes to personal relationships also. Mm -hmm. If someone does, we do not want to complain because Many a time we feel that we are blaming or we are, you know, gossiping about that particular person. So mm -hmm. let's understand a very fine line between when you talk bad about someone, when you gossip about someone and when you actually complain about someone. Mm. 
when you are complaining it is backed up by facts but there is equal importance given to your feelings as well if you are feeling frustrated you complain about that if there has a loss that has happened to you because of a particular circumstance if you are not able to complain if you are not able to put your facts in a proper manner mm-hmm. you will never able to make the other person understand what you have went through mm-hmm. so i think vidisha uh, there so- should be some clarity in person's mind why person is complaining for what and what result uh the person is expecting from the other side mm-hmm. i think if you just made it clear uh, buying thing from the shop and if it's not uh, good enough so it it makes sense to complain to get justice but in case you want somebody to defame or uh, you know uh, to gain some certain kind of benefit uh you know uh, just to backbite someone it's a bad thing so i think there is a fine line there is a basic hygiene to be maintained when a person is thinking about uh, the uh, complaining uh, is good or bad so the here when we are talking about complaining it is uh it is right complain okay wherein a person has genuinely gone through you know something which has incurred loss so when in this talk show at present when i'm talking about con- uh, complain it is not about you know uh, talking bad about someone's uh, back or uh, defaming someone it is just genuine complain which is to be which we are talking about mm-hmm. when we complain what mm-hmm. does a complainant expect he doesn't want a debate to happen when i'm complaining mm-hmm. suppose i come to you and i have a cert- certain issue which i want to put forward as mm-hmm. a complain complainant i expect that you be compassionate you listen to what i'm saying and if my complaint is backed up by proper facts my feelings if i'm feeling sad if i'm feeling frustrated if i'm feeling angry if it is genuine so it is very important for you to understand why am i complaining mm-hmm. because when you sit silent say net- nothing somewhere you are hurting your own self also because continuously you are thinking about that particular incident in your mind mm-hmm. it is affecting you both physically mentally as well mm-hmm. rather than giving yourself a punishment it is always fair to go ahead complain about that particular issue talk about facts talk about why you are feeling this way and let's have a healthy discussion mhm have you seen any uh, anyone who is actually hesitating to complain about the actually the logical thing and the realistic thing just because that they they will being judged by the other person many a times mm-hmm. and fact, if i talk about india mostly mo- it it happens most of the time sometimes it is just to save a relationship mm-hmm. times it is you can be judged by some other person sometimes you can be quoted as a as a person who always complains mhm so what you advise them who yeah. really do not know how to complain it is very important that you know that person should be able to define the complaint in the right manner mm-hmm. and right manner again backed up by facts plus how you are feeling only facts won't do if you are complaining and if you are angry about it state that yes you are angry about it second thing it is very important to clearly mention what makes you so upset about this particular incident mm-hmm. that clarity is very important mm-hmm. 
because unless and if you are beating around the bush trying to save a relationship trying to be in the good books of your boss trying to be nice and compassionate while complaining to your colleagues mm -hmm. it is it is not going to solve your purpose as well and by not being compassionate of course i am not asking you to be rude to use words that are offensive because mm -hmm. see shada we are in a state where and i don't think so that it's it's really necessary for me to mention you know what uh, the kind of decorum which needs to be followed when we are in a mm -hmm. professional well and bad we all are grown mm -hmm. ups and when we are complaining it is equally important that uh, the complainant mm -hmm. should be able find what you are looking for you just want to vent out your feelings many a times it happens that you know especially in india i i am complaining because i am not looking for any solution but i just want to vent out my feelings to my friend okay okay fine i don't want uh, i cannot complain about uh, how i am feeling to that particular person but i just want you to listen so that i can feel good mm -hmm. another person also who doesn't just want to vent out feelings he want change through his or her complaint he wants to make sure that he wants the other person to understand that he, i am hurt i am hurt because you have behaved in a particular way mm -hmm. so of course right. it depends person to person so uh, vidisha people those are really very outspoken they always uh, talk clearly and convey uh, you know uh, their emotions to to the other person it's i think it's it's really very easy uh, to them to understand how uh, they they should pitch a problem uh, so that they can get the uh, solution but there are so many people those uh, do not talk much and they do not express their normal feeling so how they can pitch a topic so that the other person can listen to it and they can get the solution i understand that there are many people you want to say there are many people who want to complain but they don't want to be rude or probably a rude would be the wrong word they do not want to be direct when they are complaining right yeah uh, they do not know what is the technique what is the technique, technique. to uh, to the effective speech to put uh, or to select right words yeah if you do not want to direct directly complain about you know an incident be yeah. it in with your boss be it with your mm -hmm. colleagues or be it with any relationship in your life also mm -hmm. sandwich your complaint and by okay. sandwich it i mean that how does a sandwich looks like it it looks like this right yes mm -hmm. on top there is a positive thing bottom there is a positive thing and whatever complain you have uh, you have place that complain between two positives wow it's a wonderful technique yeah please explain it more i want to listen so supposedly you have a boss Hmm. You are not able to, who is elder to you in age. You are not able to complain about certain things to him. So, what is the best way? You go, you tell that you really want to work in this uh, organization, and it's an opportunity for you that you have uh, learned so many things from this org uh, organization. You are very thankful about it. but somewhere you feel that you are not able to grow because of this 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 points however still i feel that what the opportunity which i have got i got from your place probably no one else would have given me the freedom to work in this manner at some other organization so two positives and one complaint makes sense very nice i think this portion of your talk will help many people because it's not so easy to complaining it seems easy but it's not that easy when you are really 
you know for what, it. Uh, when i was going through this topic also shraddha the first thing which come came to my mind also generally anyone who is a counselor psychologist or probably anyone who has read self help books every time we have been told let's learn strategies how not to complain <laughs> no one really talks about how to complain yes yes of course so complaining is equally important just yes. because you want to save that relationship just because you want to save uh, uh, that job just because you want to be in good books of so many other people of course again i'll say there's a we all are grown ups and we all know how to complain in a way wherein you are not defaming someone else and your intention is clear lies about someone else hmm. see if she has done bad to you hmm. you're talking about those uh, incidents so of course you're talking bad about that particular so it cannot happen that you, when you are complaining you only talk about good things let's be mm-hmm. very honest thing also mm-hmm. those talks those incidents those examples shouldn't be lies yeah they should be real they should be backed up by facts and you should be able to somewhere prove that i am complaining because i have because of this particular incident because of this particular person there is an um, some amount of loss some amount of frustration some amount of anger which i am going through in my life mhm and next think- step complaining is that you need to take that ownership back yeah because you so, cannot you, just say that someone Nidisha, else i think it's, it's it's also a, a, a kind of human feelings and the emotions because the anger happiness sadness and the uh, this is also the thing that you are not comfortable with some incidents some person or some somebody's behavior so that you have some thoughts in your mind and you want to reveal it you want to tell someone to whom you are seeking the help or maybe the justice so if the okay. person is keeping it in the mind i think it's keeping keeping in the mind and heart can definitely destroy your mental and emotional balance so yeah, the one should yeah but again i'll you know, say shraddha that complaining should not be that every now and then you are just going and complaining about something to someone else today one person second day some other person third day some other person then it's become a behavior yeah no it becomes so, a behavior it yeah. becomes a behavior yeah so yeah. you have to be very mindful that when you are strategically complaining about something it should be you know you are really looking for a change by telling that complaint mhm that this is it now i am not going to tolerate any kind of rubbish again in my life so please look into the matter and mm-hmm. if you can resolve it well and good otherwise it's closure closure of that job where you are working closure of that relationship that works well yeah so i think let go would not work all the time if you have uh, some concrete uh, a question or problem in your mind and you know the uh, effective way to tell someone who can take you seriously one must go for the complaint but yeah as you advise it's really very effective so as way. i said that complaint can either hurt or it can help mm-hmm. it can happen that once you are complaining the other person might understand the facts and feelings what you are going through it can definitely hurt other person as well but sometimes it is also equally important to give yourself that priority to be assertive so that the same mistakes are not being repeated by someone else in your life mm-hmm. 
understood and very well described by you vidisha uh, we really need uh, you know this kind of talk which we really get from you and i hope next time we will also get time from you so that we will address some other question in our show questions of life in new to life talks for this time i would say thanks to you for coming in our show and uh, viewers i hope that you like the show and you would like to know many of the life uh, related uh, questions so uh, keep watching new to life talk and please subscribe and like our channel and follow the uh, youtube till then we will come again goodbye namaste take care and thank you once again vidisha thank namaskar. you so much tata